Yeah, my name's Craig Gibbons. I'm the general manager of uh, Careflight's Northern Operations based here in Darwin. I've been with the company a little bit over two years now uh, in a full-time role and my involvement with the company goes back more than 10 years as a consultant. Yeah, Care Careflight's an aeromedical rescue and retrieval company. We uh, have a mission to save lives, speed recovery and serve the community and principally we do that in our job by transporting a hospital level of care to where the patient is taking them under our wing and then, uh, and then moving them to a higher level of hospital care. We have a combination of aeroplanes and helicopters up here in the top end, um, turboprops and jets as well. And we work in partnership with the Northern Territory government to achieve our mission. So we cover the whole of the top of the Northern Territory on one contract. And we also do interstate work with our jets on another contract. And we do international work when it's required um, when Australians generally need transport back to Australia for some more care. So Careflight Top End is a blended operation, fully integrated. So every person who works on the Careflight operation is a Careflight employee, uh, engineering staff, ground support staff, the aviation and flight crews and the medical staff, doctors and nurses alike. We operate at a very, very high standard, both in aviation and medicine. And that's a you know, challenging thing to do, to operate at the highest levels and to very technical areas, but uh, we're very proud that we do that every single day for the people of the Northern Territory. The uniqueness of the work up here is its variability, so you don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next. So even on Tuesday of this week, our helicopter went uh, almost halfway to Timor over the ocean um, to pick up a sailor from a ship. Later that day they went into a national park and uh, picked up a lady who was in a very isolated area with quite a bad leg injury and then later that night they flew down to uh, one of the communities on the outskirts of Darwin to pick up a lady who was having a cardiac event. So you don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next. In the meantime while the helicopter was doing those jobs the fixed wing did another 12 patients that day from all over the top end of the Northern Territory. So at times we have those patients under our care because it's such a vast area for five or six hours at a time. A couple of years ago, we had a really complicated job involving a bus rollover on the Arnhem Highway, south of Jabiru. And there were 21 people on the bus and nine of them were critically injured. That was a mission that took us about eight hours to complete and involved the helicopter transporting patients to meet with fixed wing aircraft to be onwards transported to Darwin Hospital. I guess that's one of the beauties of Careflight being completely integrated is it's well within our capabilities to plan a complicated mission like that and unfold it with all of the crew working together absolutely seamlessly. And some of the clinical crew, even in the interests of the patients, were swapping aircrafts mid-mission because they were staying with the same patient. And that's, that's the adaptability of our service. Generally, we need to remember that when we're doing our best, people are having the worst day of their lives. So we don't really celebrate the fact that we do that, but we're very... Um, proud and pleased to be able to go and help people who are in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. It's very easy to get out of bed every day and put your boots on and turn up to work and be quite energetic about it because what we do is really important for the community. It's very rewarding, even though, you know, we're really conscious of the fact that people, um, it, what, what they go through when we're working with them can be very upsetting for them, but it's rewarding to be able to intervene and to reduce the amount of impact that has on those individuals and their families.